Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial again on loss of logarithms applications 3. If you are joining us now, this is the third video on the applications of loss of logarithms. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on logarithms. So we start with the first problem. Problem 1, given only that log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010 and log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771, evaluate A log 5, B log 15, C log 72, and D log 1.125. It is established in our previous videos that if the base of the logarithm is not given, it is base 10. So all these are base 10. So starting from A part of the problem, we have log 5. The idea is we look at the given logarithms. Is it possible we express 5 as product of 2 and 3? Uh, no. But since this is base 10, we also take 10 into consideration. That is it possible we divide 10 by any of these numbers and give us 5? Yes. 10 divided by 2 gives 5. Therefore, we have it as log 10 divided by 2. Log 10 divided by 2 gives 5. Therefore, we go ahead to apply the appropriate law of logarithms here. So here, since this is division, we go ahead to say log 10 minus log 2. If you are dividing, you subtract. So here we know log 10 base 10 is 1. And we are already giving log 2 to be 0 0.3010. We are going to substitute appropriately so that we have it as 1 minus 0 0.3010 since log 2 is 0 0.3010 subtracting this we have 0 0.6990 which represents the logarithm of 5 to be 10. so we go to b part of the problem again we know 2 times 3 gives 6 and we have 15 here 6 is not a factor of 15 then we can still go ahead to say since 15 is 30 divided by 2 so we have it as 30 divided by 2 and we can expand this 30 to be um, 10 times 3 then divide by 2 it becomes log 10 since this is multiplication it will be plus log 3 then minus log 2 and we again we know log 10 to be 10 to be 1 and log 3 is 0 0.4771 so that will be plus 0 0.4771 then minus log 2 and log 2 is 0 0.3010 that gives minus 0 0.3010 so from here adding these and subtracting this we have 1.17 Six one, which represent the logarithm of fifteen and base ten. So we go to C part of the problem. For C, we have log seventy two. Um, seventy two is eight times nine. So applying the appropriate law here, we have log eight plus log nine. Remember, we can express 8 as index form of 2 and 9 as index form of 3. So that we have it as log 2 raised to the power 3 plus log 3 squared. And uh, bringing this power as coefficient of this logarithm, it becomes 3 log 2 plus 2 log 3. We have just applied the applicable law. Now we substitute in the values of log 2 and log 3. That will give us 3 times 
0 0.3010 plus 2 times 0 0.4771. So multiplying this out, we have 0 0.9030 plus 0 0.9542 times 0 0.4771. Adding them together, we have 1.8572. And that is the logarithm of 72 to base 10. So we go to the D part of the problem. For problem 1D, we have log 1.125. We are going to express this as fraction in the simplest form. That gives 9 over 8. Applying the appropriate law here, we have log 9 minus log 8, since 9 over 8 means 9 divided by 8. So if you are dividing, you subtract. Now, from the previous um, example, that is 72, where we had 9 times 8 or 8 times 9, we express 9 as index form of 3 and 8 as index form of 2 so that we have it as log 3 squared minus log 2 cubed. So applying the appropriate law again, this becomes 2 log 3 minus 3 log 2. Substituting in the values of log 2 and 3, we have it as 2 times 0 0.4771 minus 3 times 0 0.3010. We multiply this, we have a 0 0.9542 minus 0 0.9030. Subtracting this, we have 0 0.0512. And uh, that is representing the logarithm of 1.125. Five to be ten. That is the end of solution to problem one. We go to problem two. For problem two, given that log three base five is equal to zero point six eight two six, and log four to base five is zero point eight six one four, evaluate the following without using tables or calculator. So we start with uh, the A part of the problem, which is log 12 base 5. We have stated in the first problem that we should look at how to express the logarithm of what we are looking for as product of the given logarithm. And we are going to consider 5 in case they are not factors. So what we do here is we know 12 is 3 times 4. So we have it as log to base 5, 3 times 4. So applying the appropriate law here, we have it as log 3 base 5. Since this is multiplication, we have it as plus log 4 base 5. We now substitute in the values of log 3 base 5 and log 4 base 5, which gives 0.6826 plus 0 0.8614, then we add 4 plus 6 gives 10, so we write 0 carry 1, the 1 plus 2 plus 1 gives uh, 4, 8 plus 6 gives 14, I have 4 carry 1, this is 14 plus 1 we are carrying, gives 15, we place our point, 0, 0 gives 0 plus the 1 we are carrying, we have a 1. And that is the end of solution to problem 2a. We go to 2b. So for b, um, we know that this is 12. We can get 3, 4, and 5 here. So 12 times 5 gives 60. So we go ahead to see log 3 times 4 times 5. Then applying the appropriate law here, we have it as log 3 base 5 plus log 4 base 5 plus log 5 base 5. You know automatically log 5 base 5 is 1. So we then substitute in the values of log 3 base 5 and log 4 base 5. 
and that will give us 0 0.6826 plus 0 0.8614 plus 1.0000. Then we add this is 10, we write 0 carry 1, this is 4, this is 14, we write 4, this is 14 plus 1, 15. Then plus one, we have a 2.5440, which is the logarithm of 60 to base 5. And uh, we go to C part of the problem. For C, um, we cannot get 4 from 45. 45 is not divisible by 4, but it's divisible by 3. And... Uh, a multiple of 3 also, which is 9 times 5. So we now go ahead to say 45 is 9 times 5. And uh, applying the appropriate law here, this is log 9 base 5 plus log 5 base 5. We know 9 is 3 squared. So we have it as log 3 squared plus log 5 base 5. Appro applying the law here, we have 2 log 3 base 5 plus log 5 base 5 from here we have to substitute in the value of log 3 base 5 which is 2 times 0 0.6826 and log 5 base 5 is 1 so we add 1 so we simplify this multiply out first 2 times 6 is uh, 12 I write 2 carry 1 2 times 2 gives 4 4 plus 1, 5. 2 times 8 gives 16. You write 6, carry 1. 12 plus 1, 13. Carry 1. We have the 1 here. Then plus 1. So this 1 plus this will give us a 2.3652, which represents the log redeem of 45 to be 5. Then we go to D part of the problem. For D, we have log 2.4 base 5. And uh, here, this is decimal fraction. We can still go ahead to make it a whole number by saying log 12 divided by 5. Log 12 divided by 5 is 2.4. And we can still break down this 12 as product of 3 and the 4. So we have it as log 3 times 4 divided by 5. So applying the appropriate law here, we have log 3 plus log 4 minus log 5, all to be 5. So substituting in the value, so we have 0 0.6. 826 plus 0.8614 minus 1. We add this first. So that is going to be 0, 0.445.1, then minus 1. That will remove this 1 here so that our final answer becomes 0 0.5440, which represents the logarithm of 2.4 to be 5. And that is the end of solution to problem 2. This is where we are drawing the cutting in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Remember to subscribe if you have not done that. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on logarithms. Until we come your way again, Goodbye.